In this video clip, I'll demonstrate how to use a Excel function that we have discussed before, conditional formatting, to create a heat map. This is an example that we have discussed in class, where when I search introduction to marketing analytics, I will reach the landing page on Google. So this is what the landing page looks like. And as we discussed, using eye tracking data, we can draw a heat map and the heat map will help us visualize how much time people spend on different areas within this landing page. So now let's look at the second sheet, data preparation. And here it's still the same landing page in the background with a gray shade. What we have done in preparation is to use 0.2 inch by 0.2 inch grids to lay out the whole page. So we draw a whole area from zero to 10 inches and then similarly vertically also from 0 to 10 inches. And each grid would represent an area on the landing page. And here's the data. Each number within the grid represents the time that uh, on average people's eyes have spent in that grid measured by milliseconds. So the first grid is 98, here is 93, etc. So as you can see, out of this golden triangle that we have talked about, the numbers would continue to decline when we reach the further end of the page. And to draw this heat map, it's fairly straightforward. Let's select the first cell here in C8 and hold down the Control and Shift button and use the right arrow. So it's going to select all the numbers in that row. And then without releasing Control and Shift, press the down arrow and release. So now, release all the buttons. We see that we have selected the whole region of numbers. So all we need to do is to go to conditional formatting and then color scales. So in this case, we want to use red color to represent a longer period of time of eye tracking and green color to represent a shorter period of time. So we're going to use the red, yellow, and the green color scale. Click on that. And that's it. Now you have created a heat map of Google's eye tracking data. So when I shrink this, you will see the whole map on one page colorized. Now this gives you a direct visualization of how much people have spent on each area of the landing page. That concludes the video.